Hey YouTube and welcome to the second episode of Apple Knows. This week, there are a lot of rumors about Verizon, Facebook, and the almighty Apple. First of all, let's start off with Verizon. People have been wondering and waiting for a new carrier since the iPhone came out with AT&T. So what's new about iPhone with Verizon? Well, the CEO hinted at a recent conference that we shouldn't bet on the iPhone coming out with Verizon anytime soon. So what's really going to happen with this? I don't know. Maybe iPhone 5 will come out with Verizon. Maybe it won't. Maybe the iPhone 6 will. Maybe it won't. We don't know at this point right now. We hope it will. Some people want it with AT&T. Some people want it with Verizon. I really don't care which carrier I get it on as long as it runs smoothly and it isn't too expensive, although I don't pay the bills, but you hope that it's not too expensive and AT&T doesn't do that bad of a job with that. So what else is up in news? There's also Facebook. There are a few rumors about Facebook going on right now. The first rumor is that Facebook is going to release their own mobile device and this rumor has been shot down this week and the CEO of Facebook says that they're not coming out with their own device but then there was another rumor that came out that said maybe they are making a device with somebody else and the other person they thought was Android and so maybe Facebook is working on a device with Android I don't think too much of it I think it might just be rumors but if they are coming out with a device would you guys buy it I know I wouldn't I'd stick with my iPhone and probably just this Mac and search Facebook but if you guys heard about Facebook making their own phone would you buy it and why or why not leave a comment below and also other news with Facebook Facebook was down for two and a half hours yesterday and error messages kept popping up and Facebook said the problem steamed from automated system that checks for the values configuration values and replaces them with correct ones it places the old incorrect ones with the new ones and they said that it wasn't working correctly and so to fix the problem they had to shut the whole system down and the system made the website go down so the website was down for two and a half hours yesterday so you guys got two and a half hours back on your life good job also there's other news about Apple some new Apple rumors and this week starting off with the second generation iPad some people say the second generation iPad will be seven inches and they say that it's a finished product so what do you guys think about the release date I think it's still in 2011 maybe the first quarter of 2011 or it could be the holiday season if it came out the holiday season would you guys buy it I know I would and they say it's gonna be smaller so do you guys think it would be harder to type and do you think it would defeat the whole purpose of getting an iPad and you just get an iPod touch I think that the 7 inches would be great because they are a little bit big right now and they are a little bit heavy so if they make it a little bit lighter and just a little bit smaller it would be portable and I like portable so what do you guys think about it being 7 inches tell me how you think below and also let's go back to my thingy I'm reading this off my TV right now on my projector okay so there's other rumors of Apple and they say Apple's filing some patents and they're trying to take advantage of the multiple sides of the device whether it's the iPhone or the iPad and they say that the they want to get rid of all the buttons on the device so I'm not sure if they will be able to get rid of all the buttons on the device like the silent and silent button if you wanna have that on the device it's better to have that on the device like itself not on the touch screen I think it'd be better just to leave the buttons as they are right now but Apple might want to just get rid of them completely and I'm kinda interested in what it'll be so bring it on Apple lastly Safari 5.0 may put you at risk and leave your information vulnerable by the autofill vulnerability people well hackers are being able to get information like your first name, your last name, your city, your country, and your state, and all your information that you don't want people to see. So in order to get rid of that risk, you should go to Safari. Just follow along with me. Go to Safari, go to Preferences, then go to Autofill, and then check the box labeled Using Info from Address Book Card. And that will hopefully not let your information out that you don't want to get out. So thank you for watching.
today's episode. And one more thing that it would be great is go check my website. It's web.me.com slash Ewing slash dot YouTube dot HTML. If you missed one thing on my video, something, I don't know what. If you missed something on my video, if you read this video, it's all typed out on my website in the technology news section. And you can also follow me on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash Ewing. And I'll see you in my next episode of Apple Notes. Bye.